Hey friends, welcome to a new series. Uh, this one's going to be called Return to Comment. And I believe I've gotten enough comments uh, to actually make a quality video returning to your comments. So uh, pardon the uh, the voice. I, I am fighting off a cold right now. Um, so sorry about that, but I, I did want to make a video. I want to be consistent with my videos. And, uh, yeah, so let's go to the first one. This one's from Autumn Curtis. It says, talk about your relationships. Like, have you ever done the whole quote-unquote e-date thing? Or do you strictly only meet people in real life? Are you in a relationship or not? Do you like girls, boys, trans, others, giant spiders called Araxor, etc., etc.? Also, what's your opinion on e-dating and RS? Not an exact question, but I figured I'd give you one because no one else has yet. Have I done the whole e-date thing? Okay, when I think of e-dating, I think of, like, you you dance with them, you give them stuff, and you do stuff together, but it's, like, surface-level stuff. You don't know anything really about yourself, like, them in real life, they don't know about you in real life. You're just having fun on a game, and that's why it's called e-dating, right? So that's what I think most people think it is. I could be wrong, but the way I see e-dating is, like, if you go on to, a, a, you know, an online dating site, you're there to meet someone so you can, you know, potentially be with them in real life. So you can potentially even marry them in real life. You're looking for a partner for life, basically. That's how I look at e-dating. So when I say, when you ask if I've ever e-dated e on RuneScape, I will tell you no to the first one because for me, relationships are not surface level. Not at all. It has never been a surface level thing. I'm not a one and done kind of guy. If I do decide to date someone, I'm looking for something in real life I'm looking to potentially meet and um, seeing if you know you're the right person for me for like the rest of my life that kind of thing I feel like trying to find someone online is much easier for me than to find someone in real life because I'm not a very outspoken person in real life like when I was in college I would go to my class I would sit through my class. I wouldn't talk to anyone. At the end of the class, I would just leave. And then uh, it's what's called a closet studier. I would go home and just study in uh, at my house. So I have had a couple of girlfriends in real life, but um, I think the longest set of actually the longest set I've had in real life was about a year. Yes, I've done the e-date thing, but it wasn't surface level. I've dated people online. Um, I don't know how I feel about it anymore because um, it's very, very easy for for the other person to just go, well, I don't want you anymore, see ya, and then they just completely disappear. And I feel like me giving something more than surface level is almost pointless um, if they're just going to be a dick about it. Um, as far as what gender I like, I like, I'm, I'm straight and I like girls. Yeah. So I think that takes care of that question. Let's move on to the next one. So we got from Kapopo. He's one of the, uh, I remember him from my streams. Uh, he goes, or I don't know if it's a guy, sorry, if you're a girl, could you list out some of your favorite quests? Also, if you had the motivation, time, etc., to do 5.4 bill all over again, what skill would you get 200 million first? What order would be different than your first time around? God, I got to remember what order it was on the first time. Um, <clears throat> favorite quests? I would have to say, like, the big quests are my favorite quests because those are the ones that actually you get nice rewards from, and they kind of make sense. The little quests are are almost like um, like if you're skipping a rock on the pond. You don't, you don't, Some of those ripples... You don't really notice. You only you know you only notice the first ripple because it's the biggest, and then the rest of them are just kind of there. That's how I feel like um, little quests are. They're there, 
and you got to do them. You know, they got to be there, but they're not they're not priority for me. So things like um, one that I really liked was the uh, I got to remember the name, but it was the one with the tormented demons. It was uh, was it while Gothic sleeps or something? Um, I really like that one with the stone of jazz. I don't remember the full storyline or the lore behind it, but um, I'm not really too big on the lore. I like the the um, the rewards, but like I said, on the big quest, the lore does it makes more sense because it's a longer quest. You have to actually do it. Um, but yeah, if I had the motivation, time, etc., to do five point four, well, the thing is. You can make the time to do 5.4 bill, no matter what you're doing. It just may take longer than, like, say, if I was working two jobs, two full-time jobs, I would still be able to get 5.4 bill if I had the motivation. So, honestly, the only reason is that I don't have the motivation. <clears throat> so, really, the only thing is the motivation. And, yeah, the motivation is definitely lacking. I've been... I just added another syllable there. I've been, um, don't know what I was trying to say. I've been, oh, I've been maxed for almost two years now, 5.2 bill for almost two years. Um, but yeah, so what skill would I get first? Um, I basically, I would probably do Slayer and then I would probably do the gathering skills like I did before. From there, I would save up money so I could do my Bible. So I would kind of do it the same way, but it would be a little, it would be in a different order, obviously, because um, there are some things that you should be doing uh, that I didn't do when I was going for it first. All right. So the way cool Adenu, hope I said that right, uh, says, at what point did you most want to give up? Slash, what was the worst part about getting five point four? 5.4 wasn't really the probably the worst part about it was spending so much damn money and using the treasure hunter that's probably the worst part like when they released the treasure hunter i was like dude i don't know if i want this anymore because like it's so easy like I don't, i'm not trying to be like an asshole about this or anything but like gaining xp is so easy now that's one of the reasons why i'm demotivated like if i was gonna go for max xp I would have to do it on a hardcore Iron Man where I'd have a challenge of dying to Araxor. And that would be my only challenge. If I could make it past Araxor and get, um, you know, even just a scythe, I think that I could go for max XP on that. And, like, I'd probably be happy doing that, too. It's just that would take a lot of time. And I don't know if I want to dedicate all of that time because, you know, I am an engineer in training I got my EIT certification uh, and I, w I still want to do that part of my life you know and I want to work on projects I want to have you know I want to have that part of my life still I don't want to throw that away again for you know XP but anyways let's move on to the next question Walso asks what was your method to stay motivated when doing skills you didn't really enjoy doing okay so two things about this the main reason i went for max xp is because i was pissed off about a real life relationship and i said f women and i decided to do what makes me happy which was grinding experience right so that's why i went for max xp i was pissed off at the world and it's probably not what you wanted to hear but it's the truth and this channel is all about honesty but what i would say is the uh aggressive 99 agility person but what i will say about like the skills i didn't enjoy doing i would put on a movie i would watch a lot of um anime i would watch one piece i would watch naruto uh a lot of different shows i've watched a lot of different shows um that's how I kept myself motivated, and I told myself, you know, you can do this, and, I, you know, I have the kind of mindset that is always goal-oriented, and I'm not happy unless I, you know, go towards a goal, like a big goal, you know, so. Um, I would say, you know, 
good way to stay motivated is, you know, do what you enjoy doing. But the thing is, you're, you're asking if I didn't enjoy doing that skill. I would, I would put something, I would do something that I did enjoy doing while I was doing something I didn't enjoy doing. So it would kind of balance it, uh, each other out. Next question. Can you tell us about your 200 mil farming and how long, how long it took and so on? Yeah. Uh, 200 mil farming was one of the, actually one of the first ones that I wanted to go for, um, even before I even considered max XP. I just wanted 200 mil farming and runecrafting and I did it. Um, and I was the first one to get both of them at 200 mil on one account. And I was back in 2012. Was I had to get runecrafting first and then I got farming. But the way I did farming was I did, um five magic trees in the morning before school then i'd go to school and um maybe in between classes i'd do an herb run i don't remember if i did or not you know sometimes between classes there was a couple hours where i would you know actually no back in 2012 i was going to that other college the first college i went to so I would come home after my classes. I I set my schedule to where there was no there was no in between time. And if I did have in between time, I would just bang out my homework because I felt like, you know, I forced myself to do homework while I'm at school. So when I get home, I don't gotta think about it. I just do what the hell I want at home. You know what I mean? And the only thing I need to do is study for a test when the test comes up. And it worked out for me. Um, but I did do five magic trees in the morning. As many herb runs as I could during the day, torstals, and then um, at night I would do five magic seeds and I think it was six palm seeds. And I wouldn't even do the calquats because, you know, it it takes twenty three hours for them to to grow. But more days than not, the cycle is going to get interrupted um, because of you logging in or out. It changes, it resets the cycle every time you log out which is really retarded, but, um, so you, you know, your Calquat would take more than a day, uh, usually, so it took me 800 days, by the way, to get it. Faya says, how much EHP have you lost due to game updates after achieving 200 mil slash significant XP goals? For which skills have you lost the most? All right, so this sounds more like, um, a guy that's, playing old school because we don't really have ehp on uh rs3 but what i can say is that my ehp for most skills is at least two or three times what it normally says it is and that's because i went and i trained um secret methods that i found for that but the thing is like of course ehp goes down because xp rates go up as time goes on I would say the one that I lost the most on is runecrafting because, um, you know, I was doing 65, 68K an hour, and now it's, what, like 200K if you can, you know, do blood runes nice. So probably that. And I don't know the exact EHP because, once again, I think that's an old school term. But if it isn't, just an old school term, you can correct me in the comments, but uh, runecrafting is definitely, because I, I spent, oh my god, like, so many thousands of hours on that. Alright, friend or enemy, he says, what really helped you decide you want to go for this? Uh, any famous people in the community of RuneScape you've met and grown with? What are your thoughts on EOC as it stands now? Wow, this is a lot of questions. Where do you see yourself in RuneScape? uh with runescape in one year including the channel um when do you see yourself stepping away from the game do you get out often when did you find the game and how did it lead to you deciding it was what you wanted to do for the next 10 years okay um i'm gonna skip that one for a second actually no i'll, I'll answer that one um i think we have one more after this i may have taken too many questions for this episode it's gonna be it's gonna be long okay so what helped me what really helped me decide this i did say this earlier i had a lot of anger and um that's i mean honestly that and no no it wasn't only that like i wanted to like this is gonna sound really weird because i am ranked two now but 
back when I was doing 200 mil runecrafting and 200 mil farming, the reason why I wanted to go for those two hard skills is because I felt like I wanted to be someone who could do like stuff that people couldn't do. You know, most people couldn't do it. But I also wanted to be the nicest person that did that. So, like, not only did I want to be the, you know, the best, but I also wanted to be the nicest because people deserve niceness, you know? Nobody deserves to be mean to. Like, we all have feelings. We all have emotions. Even people who say they don't have emotions, they have emotions. And they deserve to be nice to, you know, to them. So, my main goal, like, this was before I was going for 5.2. Or actually, at the time, it was five bill because uh, divination wasn't out. But I was going for uh, max runecrafting and max farming. So I, you know, I said to myself, I said, if I can do this and not be an asshole to people and people can see that, maybe the community will be better, you know? Maybe it will change someone's life. Maybe it will bring positivity. The thing is, like, then I went through the relationship crap, and I got very angry at the world. So I kind of lost sight of that, but now that I'm on the other side, I'm trying to be, you know, where I was when I started that. I want to be, you know, I still want to be the best. I mean, I don't, I don't know, like, why I want to be the best. Like, I don't, like, what, what's the point of being the best, you know? You're always, you're never going to be good enough unless you're the best. That's how the mentality that I have, and it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad to have that mentality because there's always going to be someone better than you. There's always going to be someone worse than you. There's always going to be someone better than you. So it's very a very bad mindset to have. I don't, you know, if anybody else is struggling with that, then, like, I, I feel you. I understand what you're going through. And um, the way that I've dealt with it is to, to uh, just kind of let that roll off your back like if you can you can help someone in some way then to me that trumps like you know not being the best like rank two is is awesome it's still awesome the thing is in my mind it's it's still obviously it's not the best one one of the things back in the day is i really really wanted to be i wanted to be the guy that people because the thing is like People will look up to someone if they're the best, you know, as like a role model. And I don't want to necessarily be a role model, but if someone's going to be a role model, I want them to have good characteristics, you know. And the thing is, you can't change anybody else, so why not do it yourself? Why not become the best and be the role model that people, you know, need in the community, a nice person, you know, positivity, you know, honesty. Those are core things that, you know, back back in the day, that's what drove me to going for, like, the crazy, crazy stuff. Like, 200 mil room crafting and fire. Who the frick does that? Nobody. Nobody did it. I was the first one to do it, you know? And, um, so, anyway, I'm, I'm getting carried away. Um, any famous people in the community of RuneScape you've met and grown with? I'm going to say no. Uh, I don't, I don't affiliate myself with um, famous people. And there's a dog in the background. I know, I've been living here for over 10 years and I've never heard a dog like that. I don't know who the hell this dog that is. It's so weird. Alright, so, uh, no, I stay away from the famous people because, especially the people in RuneScape, that I don't, I don't click with many people. I'm very honest, and people, I don't know, they don't seem to stick with my personality. So just like either it's me that's the issue, or it's them that's the issue, but it just doesn't really, doesn't really work. So I have a hard time like respecting people. Um, and, like, been trying to work on it, you know. I tell myself, respecting someone is not earned. Um, they should get it. And then, if, they, you know, if they do something, like, not once, but, like, multiple, multiple times, um, 
then that's when I go, I don't know if I can respect this person anymore. You know what I mean? Um, I don't respect assholes. I don't respect people who make fun of other people just to get a laugh because I firmly believe that you can get people to laugh without ever making fun of one person. You can talk about a damn orange tree and make it funny. You can do it. I know you can do it because I've done it. I've made people laugh by talking about, you know, inanimate objects, even animate objects, you know, just leave people out of it because they don't deserve that crap. You shouldn't put someone else down to make others feel better. That is not how society should work. So anyways, I have I have issues with like famous people. Not all famous people are like that. I know there are some nice famous people. I just haven't met them and I haven't clicked with them in the community. Like there are a couple people that I would probably like to meet like Bodhi. Like I've said in one of my other videos, I think he is He's a really cool guy, and uh, if I ever meet him, then it's great. Uh, I just haven't met him yet, you know? Um, what are my thoughts on EOC as it stands now? I like the EOC. I think the PvP aspect could be way better. Um, I don't. I honestly don't know how they could make it better because um, I'm not a PvPer, so I honestly, I don't know. I, I like the EOC. Um, where do you see yourself with RuneScape in a year? Um, I want to see myself with the IFB title. All the skilling pets. Maybe my, um, Master Quest Cape. Pretty much completed RuneScape to the fullest within a year. And I may even be on a hardcore Iron Man by then. Um, but yeah. I don't know the way this channel is going to go. If I'm going to be doing strictly RuneScape videos. The thing is like I don't want to post other games on this channel. Because you know some people you know they're probably only subscribing for RuneScape content you know. But as a max player, there really isn't much for me to show other than IFB, pets, and, like, that stuff is going to get old. I'm telling you, if you if you don't like Araxor after, like, five videos or however many videos it is, I, I understand it's it's five videos. But if you look at it from my side, I've done all of that Araxor in a row. I haven't done any bosses in between. So if you think it's bad... You can think of it like how it is for me, you know, but that's just how I am. I grind and I responded to a couple comments today about it. And I said that I am done with a for a while. I'm probably gonna move on to Telos. And um, the thing is, I don't really like group bossing. I don't like group bossing because I don't like groups and raids is a different story because you absolutely need it. And I also want the acto equipment. Um, so in a year, I don't know how my channel is going to look. You know, and honestly, I don't want to know. I don't want to know the future. I want to see how it grows or how it doesn't grow, you know, and kind of I kind of want to see like a community form from this. I'm already starting to see, you know, some some community coming out of this. And it's really awesome. Um, when do I see myself stepping away from the game? Well, I thought I was stepping away from the game multiple times. I thought I was going to step away when I started college. Nope. That's actually when I went for, you know, max XP. Thought I was going to step away when I got max XP. Nope. You're staying here for the next eight, month, eight months in the lobby talking to people. Then I started going for trim, and I was like, you know, am I ever going to quit this? So I don't know. I honestly, I honestly don't know. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with not knowing right now. Um, and... As far as, oh, do I go out often? Um, I want to say no. I go out when I need to. Like, if I need to get food, I'll go to the grocery store. You know, um, if I need to go get the car fixed, I'll go out, help my family with that. When I had a job, I was going out, but only to go to the job. I don't go out like, drinking or restaurants or anything like that i don't do that um that's just not the kind of person i am i'm an introvert is what they call it i guess when did you find the game and how did it lead you to deciding it was what you would dedicate the next 10 15 okay i found the game when i was 11 years old i was basically i was homeschooled from what was it age I was, I was at the end of fifth grade, so I was taken out halfway through fifth grade, and then I was put back in because I wanted to finish fifth grade at least, and then from sixth to twelfth, 
then I was homeschooled. But the thing is, like, we moved house uh, just after we uh, we got started with homeschooling. And my mom worked at uh, a YMCA. And we would go, we would walk there after, after we did our schoolwork at home. We would walk there, me and my brother. And then we would go to this after daycare place called, uh, actually, I don't want to name it. But we would go to this after uh, daycare you know, after daycare for teenagers, and they had, like, this huge computer room, and everybody there, they were like, oh, do you hear about this new game called RuneScape, man? And like, I don't know why they talk like that, but this was, like, when Classic was out. So pretty much we had, like, this whole, it was the computer center, and there was, like, 25 computers in there, and we were all just, you know, playing RuneScape, RuneScape Classic. And uh, it was just kind of, I guess it was just kind of the thing at the time. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people played RuneScape back in 2001, 2002. A lot of people played it. Um, I, I felt like a lot of people. I don't know. Maybe I was just a dumb kid and I didn't realize. But pretty much everybody at the uh, daycare center was playing it. So that's how I got started. But I've never really decided I, I was going to dedicate 10 to 15 years of it. And honestly, I didn't dedicate 10 to 15 years of it because I didn't play it from, you know, 2003 to 2007. I didn't play it 2008 to 2010. You know, I, I played it like, you know, I wasn't allowed to play it for most of that time. Um, or well, not most of that time, but some of that time I wasn't allowed to play it. So we got like, <clears throat> excuse me, we got like 2008 to 2009, probably played one year. That's when I was a total noob back then, or maybe 2006, half of 2006, maybe half three quarters of 2008. Then I came back in 2010, got a couple 99s. You know, got 120 Dungeoneering at the end of 2010. And then, what did I do after that? And then I started going for the runecrafting in 2000, 2011, I started. Yeah. And, uh, and then I ended it in 2012. And then I quit for all of 2000, at the end of 2012. I came back mid-2013 and just whooped XP's ass. Totally whooped it. I got... I got max XP in like 20 months or something, something crazy. So <clears throat> I never really decided to go for, you know, dedicate 10 to 15 years of it. You know, it just, it wasn't even 10 to 15 years, maybe, maybe five tops. Um, and then we got, I think there's a last question. Uh, I am so sorry if I butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Yusuke Urameshi. Uh, he says, Hey, Scuzzy, do you regret not waiting for cash to come out to start training divination? No, I don't. New things are going to come out. If anything, I was I would regret doing runecrafting, but I don't because it was so much fun. Probably the most fun I've had on this game was actually doing the old school runecrafting. That was probably the most fun I've had on this game. And then it just all downhill from there. But no, I don't, I don't regret it because like I don't want to just do a little of one thing every day. I mean, you can clearly see it on my bossing videos. or, But, uh, yeah, that's the last question. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, that's a really long video. I am sorry. Hope you guys listened. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. And uh, don't forget to put RTC, hashtag RTC on the bottom of this video if you got more questions. Um, I'll try to get them more concise. I mean, I don't. I always say that, but. Damn, when I start talking, it's not concise at all. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to put that up uh, down there. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace.